Hello again, YouTube, Lay6, Lay6 Cards and Collectibles. Just finally got the card that I bought a couple weeks ago because I had to go through authentication and all the other mumbo jumbo because the authentication's in California and when the, the card came from New York, yeah. So, had to go all the way across country to come back halfway across country. So, got it today. So, we're going to make a quick big card for me. Been looking at this card for a while. Um been sitting around the same price since it came out in PSA 10 so I just it hasn't really gone up gone down I mean if you did any research and you looked at see what uh no that's good don't want anybody to see where I live right so we got a eBay standard envelope sent in a bubble mailer so I guess you can apparently do that I did not realize you could of course you gotta have the, the switchblade right let me see my address here just gonna do one card, but I got a second card in the mail today. I'm not really sure what this is. Um, actually, gonna sell in a bunch of my Justin Fields cards too to try to upgrade. Got all those cards in that two to three hundred dollar range of his PSA 10 that I'm gonna sell and try to upgrade. Someone has XRC in a PSA 10 too, and that's like six fifty seven hundred dollar cards. So, and then I'm gonna look to get an auto, probably a Spectra auto. I like Spectra. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is the Olave. It took like six months to get here. Literally, last Olave I bought had a dent in it, so let's hopefully this one doesn't. Got it for like nine bucks. Centering looks pretty good, top to bottom. Centering looks great. Problem with these cards is you gotta worry about print lines. Initial inspection looks pretty clean. Really clean, actually. Until I did that. There's some sort of discoloration going through the middle of the card. I mean, it's got one little dimple. It's clean. I mean, the back is what I'm worried about because, then these things have so many print lines on them, man. You just can't get away from them. Like, almost all these glossy backs just have print lines on them. There's a little little bit of a dimple up here. Actually, that's you're seeing white of the paper up here. Wow. That one goes all the way through the card and actually gets onto the paper, if you can see it. Right there, right above the S and Olave. <laughs> I mean, shit like that. I mean, come on, man. I mean, that is obviously noticeable. That's a noticeable flaw. Not something that kind of blends in with the card. That's a noticeable flaw. And people just sell these cards with some near mint in better condition. And then you get that going on. The card probably still is an 8 or a 9. It's nothing, nothing spectacular. But when you lay it flat, there is that discoloration there. I don't know if that's on all of them. Because I don't know. I got the other one I got. Let's take a quick peek. It's still sitting over here. He's one has a dent in it. I did get a refund on this one. That's, the guy didn't want me to send the card back. But you'll see why in a second. You can check that. Yeah, my little boy's going out there going crazy. There's a dent up here in the card. I'm trying to pick it up on the camera. Turn the light down because the light is like blinding. But there's a dent up here. You got to you got to lay it lay it in the light so the light will hit it. There it is. You can see it now, top left corner, huge like fingernail looking dent. It's had discoloration on this card too. Yeah, it is. So discoloration goes across there. Looks like to be on all the cards. This card's clean inside with the dent in it. But yeah, this Olave has that thing on the back. Um, probably not gonna. I'd like to get a clean one. I should just buy. I should just bought a PSA 10 because oh, I'm in 20 bucks now. I got that back. This one only cost me eight bucks, but I can't consciously resell the card. And I mean, I'm gonna put, you know, got that. You can see the white there. I mean, I don't know. Probably just resell it, and take a loss on it, unless he pops off. But what everybody's here for, we won't, we won't uh, waste any more time with the other stuff. But here we go. Big card for me. Been looking at buying one of these for a while. I was hoping to pick one up in Nationals, but. I'll tell you why that it's just not a it's a it's a rare card. Now my kids are going eight eight crap out. Oh yeah, if you can hear my kids in the background, I apologize. They're going at each other. Her little daughter's playing Roblox. All right, so we got this. If anybody's ever bought a card for more, actually, if it's listed for more than two hundred and fifty bucks, it goes through authentication, whether you like it or not. It's just not, nothing you can do about it. I did because uh, I bought a Chris Olave for less than. Less than 200 bucks, I'm gonna cut this. And it was listed for more, but it's going through authentication, anyways. I mean, so, I mean, it's a good service. I'm just wondering when they're gonna actually start charging for the service. I don't wanna flip this over, so I don't want everybody to see my address. I don't want anybody stalking me here. 
And if you've ever seen these, they come in a nice little case. I'm starting to build up a, a whole collection of these cases. <laughs> so if I ever get a really nice card, I might send it in one of these cases. But then, you know, it'll be authenticated. And there you go. You see it now. We actually put it in a sleeve now. Paid four seventy for it. It's like five something out the door with shipping and tax. These cards are back on top. No longer are these in uh, retail product, so it doesn't dilute dilute the value and void if damaged. Okay, so we got it. It's a Prism Justin Fields PSA ten. I think it was five hundred twenty three bucks out the door with shipping, tax, and everything. So love the select. Select's probably my favorite Prism style card. I don't have the Prism design from this year and then this year's design. I mean, God, they just they look terrible. The Selects always look so good. And this is a beautiful card, as you can see. Definitely, this will be uh, staying in my collection forever. <clears throat> but I'm trying to alleviate some of the lower end stuff I have and getting some of the better, more rare stuff of his that I can afford. So that you know, because as soon as he gets out, of, if he ends up being really good, and but as soon as he gets out of the, out of playing, his card values are going to go down. So the, some of the more rare stuff will keep will hold its value better. Just my personal opinion. But anyways, that's that man. Looking good, beautiful card. Love me some Justin Fields. It's going to have a good year this year. So, anyways, I got a PSA order coming back on the uh, Gold Kaboom that I sent in and uh, the Mahomes out of four Spectra Auto. That's already been graded. They haven't shipped it yet. I already got the grades. I, I got exactly what I figured I was going to get. Um, but those should be back sometime next week, and I'll do a reveal video on those. should be a quick, short video like this one. But anyways, uh, you can follow me on Instagram if you wish. Thanks for watching. Late Stick.